So behind Lance Stroll, here comes Max Verstappen. Is that DRS as effective as Max wants it? Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. they're going to crash. And they have. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Lance Stroll is off into the gravel after tangling now with Max Verstappen. And this might be one that the stewards are going to have to sort out. I mean, Lance must have known he was there. And um, Max was up I think the inside. Ma yeah, Max just assumed that he would let him go because I guess Lance had just finished his lap. And It's another red flag. Wow. Man, is this guy blind? What the f is wrong with him? What a... I didn't see anyone. Turn the, the gravel. engine off. Lance, turn the engine off. Completely off. I think he felt. I think he felt that he was going to let. It was a, assuming he was going to let him by. I don't think you could really blame Max for that there, could you? Because. It's kind but of but could you? Inside. But would you blame Lance either, who's well, who's got his DRS open? He's going for a lap too. So therefore, he, he's entitled he to. I think he looked over. He knew he was there. So Stroll had just finished a lap, though. Max was starting a lap. Yeah. Um, right. In, well, in which case, then Stroll should back out. Well, look, if look, he just finished the lap. Max didn't lock up. He was still in the position. He wasn't running out wide when they made contact. So in that sense, you probably have to give a bit more space I, I to the car it, on the inside. That's I, the I think it was 50-50. I think it was a little bit careless from both drivers. When we're looking at here, Otmar, obviously we're looking at it from on board as well. It's kind of 50-50 in a sense that Lance doesn't give Max enough room either when he's got a proportion of the car kind of alongside him at the same point when they come on the brakes. Lance doesn't see him there, Paul. Yeah, but he knows he's there because he's looked at. I don't on think the he does. On the Early on in the straight. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I haven't talked to him yet. But had he known he was there, he wouldn't have turned in. I don't want to talk about it too much because I was so surprised that he just turned in uh, while I was, you know, I was coming up to him. So uh, I don't know where I had to go. I was starting my lap. He he just finished his lap. So I don't. We'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's it's FP2, but it's just a shame that. You know, we touch. It was just very uh, unnecessary. I don't think he was expecting me to be on a second push lap, and I wasn't expecting anyone to be racing uh, me into turn one. So um, he gave me, he let me through uh, into the last corner, and then uh, I expected him to, to take a gap. So I was busy looking at some some things on my dash down the main straight. And um, yeah, once I uh, I looked up, I was just focused on the corner. I didn't uh, didn't expect anyone to be alongside me, and. I don't think he expected me to uh, to be on a second push, so um, yeah, unfortunate end to the day.